Christians are encouraged to look for the blessed hope. That's the glorious return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We're encouraged to look ahead to tomorrow, living with the awareness that Jesus could come today at any moment. One of the ways we look ahead to tomorrow is to consider the literally hundreds of unfulfilled Bible prophecies that talk about the future. We reserve a few minutes Sunday morning to suggest news or trends in the world that seem to parallel what is happening in the Bible. To avoid sensationalism, we're careful to use recognized, reliable sources for the news. And we're never saying the things we report on are fulfilling prophecy. We're saying they are things you'd expect to be happening in a build-up to the Great Tribulation. Uh, I mean, that, you know, that's not going to happen overnight. The Tribulation starts at a certain point, but leading up to it, a lot of stuff has to be in place. The Bible indicates there's going to be a great apostasy, a falling away during the end times. You can read about it in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, for example. It is an active departure and deliberate abandonment of biblical Christianity by those who profess to be Christians. Now, a couple of things. There's always apostasy in every generation, but we're talking about a, a worldwide great apostasy. And secondly, we're going to talk about church statistics. Just because somebody doesn't go to church or quits going to church it doesn't mean they're an apostate. But it's interesting to look at what's happening in the American church, for example, uh, in light of people just you know, pulling back from what they consider religion. Results, uh, survey results show that church attendance in the United States is declining in troubling ways. Before COVID-19, 75% of Americans reported attending church at least once a year. In spring of 22, only 67% said they'd gone to church. In-person church attendance plummeted by 45% in the pandemic, and most churches have not recovered from them. In 2019, LifeWay Research reported 4,500 Protestant churches closed compared to 3,000 new churches opening. It's the first time ever the number of churches in the United States hasn't grown since they started keeping this statistic. 2017 LifeWay survey of young adults found that 7 out of 10 who had attended church regularly in high school stopped attending during their college years. A quarter of the young adults who dropped out of church said they had disagreements with their church's stand on politics and social issues. A 2020 Pew Research study found that 30% of the U.S. population now describes themselves as religiously unaffiliated. Pew Research also noted, since the 1990s, large numbers of Americans have left Christianity to join the growing ranks of U.S. adults who describe their religious identity as atheist, agnostic, or nothing in particular. Uh, church membership held steady around 70% of the U.S. population from the 1940s through the 1990s. Membership has plummeted in the new millennium. So we're definitely in an accelerated uh, departure from uh, regular church life. Researchers divide folks into three categories now, nons, nuns, N-O-N-E-S, and non-believers. Nons are non-denominational Protestants, that would be us. Nuns are Americans who claim no religion. Christianity Today said, the decline of Christianity shows no sign of stopping. And now this is the kind of thing you would expect to be happening from reading your Bible as we're approaching the Great Tribulation. Notwithstanding that there can be revival nationally and different nations, locally, uh, just because there's a great falling away and people seem to be uninterested in the things of God doesn't mean there can't be revival. Some of you may know that right now at Asbury University in Kentucky, they're having what they're calling a revival. The uh, student chapel started last Wednesday morning this past Wednesday, and it hasn't stopped yet. Uh, people refuse to leave. Other people are coming there from great distances. Um, every, even those that are skeptical, I read a guy this morning, he's a pastor from uh, out of state. He went there and he said, nothing unusual is happening, but, but you can feel and sense the presence of the Lord. People are getting up and confessing their sin. They're reading scripture, and they just won't go home and other people are joining them and stuff. And so Asbury, it's a Wesleyan uh, Arminian school uh, uh, university, and they are known for uh, every now and then having a revival. The last one, I think, was in the 1970s or maybe 1970. Uh, so anyway, uh, you don't need to be discouraged that 
there can't be revival just because there's apostasy, but people are falling away from the church and from Christ, I think, at alarming numbers. Jesus is coming in the clouds to raise the dead of the church age and rapture living believers. We will not see any portion of the great tribulation. Doesn't mean we're not due for some suffering in the years ahead because we don't know exactly when the tribulation is going to start. We just know that we won't be in it when it does start. We're rapture ready, right? Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready and stay ready and keep looking up because ready or not, Jesus is coming. Amen.